Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 17 tutorial. Today we are talking about watering and bedding with straw your uh, animals. If we look at the animals menu, you will notice that all three of these animals, sheep, pigs, and cows, do need water, but only the pigs and the cows need straw. So you don't need to worry about that part of this tutorial if you are only concerned about sheep. The important thing to note about water is that if they don't have any, their production will drop to zero, or their productivity. So even if they are 100% cleanliness, uh, even if they have all the straw in the world, all the food in the world, if their water drops to zero, this will drop to zero. If all you do is give them water, they will be at 10% productivity. So it's a really good place to start, just give them water, get to 10%. If you, th or sorry, it, for sheep it'll be at 19%. For pigs and cows it'll be at 10%. If you give the pigs and cows water and straw, then it'll jump up to 19%. So uh, those are the stats there. Now let's look at how to go ahead and water them. And then later on we will look at how to give them straw. So to water them, you do have to get a water tank. It is under animals and it is right here. It's the only one available, uh, I'm pretty sure. So 7,300 liters of water. Go ahead and get that. Attach it to tractor or whatever. I'm using the truck that you start out with because it's really fast. Uh, dot it around the map, usually near your uh, animals' locations. You'll find little uh, like water troughs. You'll also find water towers or you can build water towers by your lots. If you do that, you have to pay to buy the water. So I'm not going to show that because I don't recommend it. You'll find them out there. Just go up to them and hit R or whatever the console key is to uh, load. Uh, what I'm going to show is free water. If you want free water, you have to take it from the river or lake. If you look at the map, there are a few places here. You can see where my cursor is. Here, here, and here that are sort of cut out. These are going to be very shallow embankments that you can use to easily access the river. Uh, if you go anywhere else on this map, they're usually pretty steep cliffs. You can see on the other side of this river, they're really difficult to get into. So I've come to one of these like sandy uh, beaches, I guess. And all you have to do is carefully drive your tank near almost into the water, hit R or whatever the refill button is on your console. And there you go. I filled up the tank and didn't spend any money in the process, uh, so I'm not going to be losing money by doing this. So that's the recommended route for water. Now I'm going to drive over to the cows and show you where to fill this up at. So let's skip ahead. Okay, so each animal lot is going to have a trough for feeding, a place for straw, and a trough for water. The water one, if I can get turned around, is the one that um, you can, it has these like metal bars across it and you can see underneath it. Uh, so this is what the water trough looks like. Of course mine actually has water in it now, so it's pretty easy to tell. All you do, uh, get this water tank up to the trough and hit the unload button. Uh, I have already maxed out their water, but right now it would unload into the tank. This is where the cows one is. It's kind of to the west of the cows. The pigs water trough is, if I can get turned around, uh, it's on the other side. So here's the food, the straws over there uh, to the north side, and the water is right here. And for the sheep, there is no straw place, of course. So the food and uh, water are right here. The water is first and the food's down there. So that's how you water them. Again, if you only give them water, you'll, have, uh, you'll be at 10% for the pigs and the cows. And if you just give sheep water, you'll be at 19% since they don't use straw. So let's move on to straw. Straw is not food. It will be used for bedding, uh, basically. And as soon as you give the pigs and cows straw, they'll start producing uh, solid manure. If you don't give them straw and you only give them water and food, they will only produce slurry, liquid manure. 
Uh, so let's look at how to do that. If you don't know how to work with straw, if you don't know how to get it, move it around, please refer to my straw and hay tutorial. I'll put a link in the description. This is solely to show uh, where to put it. So uh, I kind of already showed the cat like where to do it. So all you gotta do is go up to where you need to unload it and unload it. Um, so it's kind of like anything else. It's pretty simple. Uh, but what I want to show are the two animal specific straw vehicles. So the first one I'll show is the bale uh, unloader. And then I will show the uh, kind of the power food mixer that you can use in this game. So if you notice, this uh, straw blower is underneath animals here. It's this uh, Kuhn Primor 15070, whatever you want to call that. Uh, so this machine takes straw bales and uses them to cover the ground. So if you want to, you can use this. You can also, like I showed, you can use a loading wagon, you can use a tipper, uh, whatever you want, but this is an option. So all you do is throw some straw bales in the back, uh, however many you want. So I already have one in there. I'll throw one more just for good measure. You don't have to open the uh, the vehicle up, but I did just to show you that you could. If you had a smaller loading, oh gosh. You know what, I'm going to ignore it. Um, I should have left it closed. I didn't need it open. Um, but if you do put more than one in there, it's fine. It'll only show 4,000. But once this one's gone, then it'll go to the next one. So if you had five in there, you'd actually have 20,000 uh, units of straw, just so you know how that works. Uh, and if you look, the blower is pointing that way. So make sure when you line up for your straw, and you can use this up by the pigs as well, uh, of course, any of these vehicles. So if I go over to the straw, when I get close, you'll notice the unload button in the bottom right. I can hit I. It'll start shredding the bale and spit out straw. I'm already at max, um, but otherwise it'll start chewing through that bale. If I had more in there, it would get through that bale, move on to the next bale, so on and so forth. So there's a couple options there. Uh, in this game, there's a, another option, which is really amazing, and that is this. If you go into animals and you find the self-propelled uh, food mixer, this is supposed to be used to mix power food, which will be a separate tutorial, of course. Uh, but in this game, you can use this front vacuum, not only for silage, but you can use it for uh, hay and straw as well. So if I turn this machine on, as long as I don't have anything in it, I can suck up this straw, and you'll notice in the bottom right, it stays straw. If I accidentally sucked up hay or silage right now, it would turn into mixed feed. Uh, so make sure that you only suck up the straw and then you can just drive this thing around use it for hay, use it for silage, use it for straw it's really really convenient because in the old games you could only use that vacuum for silage I go over here, I hit unload, if I wasn't at max it would unload uh, so that is how you water and put down straw for your animals, hopefully you learned a few things with these uh, kind of different options you have for straw here. Again, if you don't know how to get straw or any of that, refer to my straw and hay tutorial for kind of the basics. This was uh, solely for how to use them with animals. I hope this tutorial helped. Don't hesitate to ask questions in the comment section. Leave a like and or dislike. Subscribe if you feel like it. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.